balance the following equation. So remember the first step when we're balancing an equation is to take inventory. So write down the types of atoms. We have phosphorus, chlorine, hydrogen, and oxygen. Same on this side, phosphorus, chlorine, hydrogen, and oxygen. And then write down the number of each of those atoms that you have. If one phosphorus on this side, five chlorine, two hydrogen, one oxygen. One phosphorus, three chlorine, one hydrogen, oh, four chlorine. Got three on one reactant and one on the other. Four chlorine, one oxygen. Okay, so um, it doesn't really matter where you start, except that if an element appears more than once on each side of the reaction, then you want to avoid starting there. So on the left, for example, chlorine appears here and here. So that means we don't want to start with chlorine. So um, phos phosphorus is already balanced, so we don't need to do anything there. Let's skip chlorine. So let's go down to hydrogen then. Um, I have two hydrogens on this side and one hydrogen on this side. So I should put a two right here. The way that I uh, keep track of where I was and where I'm going is I cross out the old one. I don't erase it, I just cross it out. I say now I have two chlorines on this side, and now I have five, excuse me, two hydrogens and five chlorines, because now I have two chlorines plus the three I had before. So that was pretty easy. That one's actually now all balanced. That's all I had to do. Because phosphorus is balanced, one and one, five and five, Two hydrogens on this side, two on this side, one oxygen, and one oxygen. So that one's balanced. Write a balanced chemical equation from the following statement. Solid potassium chlorate decomposes to form solid potassium chloride and diatomic oxygen gas. So the easiest way to approach a problem like this is to write each of the ions. So this says potassium so this says potassium which is K plus. Chlorate, I'd have to look that up on a chart of polyatomic ions. That's ClO3 minus. And on this side I have solid potassium K plus again chloride Cl minus and diatomic oxygen gas. Diatomic oxygen looks like this, O2. So my, re my reaction looks a bit like this so far. So um, the reason that I wrote these out as ions instead of compounds is because potassium chlorate doesn't necessarily tell me how many of each ion there are there is. And so I need to write the charges down so I can see how the charge is balanced to figure out what the subscripts are. In this case, it happens to be plus one and minus one. So it's just one of these and one of these. Same with potassium chloride. One potassium and one chloride. Plus one, minus one. So we have KClO3, potassium chlorate. It says here that it's solid. So we should write S in parentheses. And potassium chloride, and again, this is solid, plus O2 gas, diatomic oxygen gas. So this is the reaction that we have so far. So this is not balanced, so now let's take inventory. KClO, K, C, L, and O. I have one K, one chlorine, and three oxygen on this side. I have one K, one chlorine, and two oxygen on this side. So in order to balance oxygen, I need uh, one more, but I can't get one more over here unless I put three halves like this. If I have three halves, then that's really three oxygens. Right? But I'm not really allowed to have that three halves there. Remember, th these all have to be whole numbers. So if I have 1.5, what, what should I do 
to turn that into a whole number. 1.5. So when we're in this situation right now, everything is technically balanced, but I'm not allowed to have that fraction. So we should just multiply everything by, by some number to get whole numbers. In this case, if I multiply 1.5 by 2, then I'll get 3. So I'll get a whole number. So let's multiply all of these by 2. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 2 is 2. And 1.5 times 2 is 3. So let's see what that does. Now I have 2 Ks, 2 Cls, and 6 oxygens. Over here I have 2 Ks, 2 Cls, and 3 times 2 six oxygens. So now it's balanced. Two, two, six, and six.